Welcome back to Eclectic Soul Podcast. I am Jen. This lovely lady over here Hi, is Jen. <laughs> this podcast, uh, we're going to do a reading, and it's going to be about someone's awakening. Um, a client of Jen's came to her and said that she thought it would be pretty cool, excuse me, because she listens to our podcast, that if we could do um, something for her on our show so I am going to do Oracle. Jen's going to do Tarot. Mm -hmm. And it's basically going to be um, four cards. Uh, one card is going to stand for? Uh, oh, the first card is going to be where is her awakening journey? So what is her awakening journey? Or where where she's standing in this? Right. Okay. Yeah. And then the next three cards that we're going to kind of like gear it to the three months? Yeah. So okay. the next the next three months kind of where she's going. Okay. Um, on that journey. Okay. Um, any you know any successes, any challenges that okay. might come up. Yay! So it's yeah. gonna be a full four card read for each. Mm -hmm. This is the Sacred Power reading cards, and it's by Anna Stark, and um, it Rockpool puts this out. And it's beautiful. I actually have never opened this until now because I don't need the book. I do read Oracle, but the inside. The cards are colored in here. Yay! Yay. Let's go! <laughs> so what you got, Jen? So I am going to be reading with the Insight Tarot. And this is a, a deck that I actually don't use that much. Mm -hmm. um, and what I mean by that is I don't really use it a lot um, when it comes to professional readings. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of decks that I just I just have because they're cool, they're interesting, and this one is inspired by um, the subconscious and psychology. Um, so the imagery of the cards is meant to be more thought provoking and not so much like the, the the traditional mystical kind of you know symbolism that you usually see in tarot. It's mm -hmm. it's supposed to be more on the psychological level. Like kind of what's going on in your subconscious or what's going on in the mind. So kind of a deeper perspective yeah. of what's going on. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And this should be interesting because, again, I don't have um, a lot of experience using this deck. Mm -hmm. um, but even though I don't, if it is a tarot deck, so, you know, regardless of what tarot deck you're using, it has the same system as long as it's a rider weight system. Mm -hmm. And it's the same, so... Awesome. Should be good. I love the front of that book. It's pretty. Yeah. So I can't wait till we <clears throat> dig further in and get yeah. to like scrying and tea leaf <laughs> reading and everything. With yeah, you know, we'll some see. of the stuff that we're playing we'll around see. with now. And and I'm sorry, but I've been coughing a lot, so if I cough, I apologize. We have allergies. Yeah. So she's worse so I'll off be drinking than I am tea right now. A lot and, yeah. So let's go ahead and I guess lay we'll, out the cards. Yeah. So, okay, so for the first and then one, two, and three. three. Now I'm going to have to put my old lady glasses on so I can see. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so do you want to go first? Sure, time, since why not? It's your client. Okay, so the first card represents where my client is um, on her awakening journey. Okay. Um, and uh, because it is a journey, there are going to be things that she is obviously working on. So that's what this card is focusing on. It's kind of mm -hmm. where is she in that, in that process. So the first card that I have is the High Priestess, and it is reversed. Um, and the High Priestess is all about, basically, it's a perfect example of, of an awakening. Because it's somebody who is focused on things that are unknown, mm -hmm. spirituality, mm -hmm really digging deep within your self-reflection mm -hmm. um, and trying to figure out how to achieve more knowledge or achieve even nirvana, if you want to use that as a, as right. a word. Um, so this is reversed, so this means that this is a blocked energy. And so what this is telling me is that um, she's trying to find an awakening mm -hmm. she's she's interested in 
spirituality in knowledge. Mm -hmm. Um, but she's, she's like hitting a brick wall. There's a blockage. There's something that's keeping her from getting to where she wants to be. Mm. Um, and if you look at the imagery here, you'll notice that it, the, the woman is the high priestess, and that's who the client is in this particular picture. Right. And she's got her eyes closed, almost like in a meditative state. Right. Um, and that's basically what it is. I mean, you have to kind of imagine, like, the client is, is in a meditative state trying to kind of... You know, like give me the answer. Right, give me the answer. Calm the mind. Yeah. But I also want to progress. Wow. And it is a very feminine card. Yes, it as is. Well. It yeah. is. And you know, and she's a female, and it's a female, so it definitely fits. What do you have? Now, hmm? this is the truth card, and as you can see, he has a mask that he's pulling away. Mm -hmm. What people around her know of her as her being mm -hmm. but she wants to know what her truth is she wants to know who she is inside what makes her resonate what makes her work what makes her want to move forward so that is her awakening she wants to know her truth she wants mm -hmm. to be able to speak her truth see her truth feel her truth know her truth but i still feel like that she's not able to be completely comfortable with everyone that she knows about um, voicing what she is trying to learn, what she is wanting, what she where she wants to go, because of things that might the stepping stones that might be in her way or the little things that are coming up because when you're around a group of people for a long period of time that know you as one way and mm -hmm. you're ready to to go in the forward mode and go into a new stage in your life sometimes they may not want to see that for you right. and it might be difficult and i think that's what it is she needs to stand in her truth she needs to reveal her truth right so she, she needs to be herself yes her she true, to, her true self. She just, she's living with a mask, basically, yes. and she needs to take it off. Yes, she does. And it has similar color uh, yeah. scheme. You've got the bluish and purple here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, okay, your second card. So we're now moving on into the months. Yes. So what's going to be coming up here for her on the journey? Mm -hmm. So it's very fitting that she has the two of wands here at the beginning of her journey because in tarot, wands actually tell a story of a journey. Aww. Um, so the two of wands shows somebody who's at the very, very beginning of a journey. Mm -hmm. um, two is always like a gestation number in numerology. So um, it's kind of like almost like a waiting or a uh, prep stage, mm -hmm. basically. And so what this is saying, and wands represent action. Right. So tr ambition, trying to achieve your goals. So this means that <clears throat> coming up, probably in the next month or so, she's going to be trying to almost restart because she she was obviously starting the journey before. Right. Um, she hit a roadblock, but it does look like she is going to try to pick up soon. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like she's starting again from the beginning. Right. <clears throat> Starting from square one, um, this is basically saying that she's going to have to prepare more. Mm -hmm. Because the two of wands is all about not taking action yet. It's it's still a go ahead. It's still giving you the green light, but it's mm -hmm. saying the green light on is only going to be in the future. And it's only going to be if you plan and you prepare mm. for what's to come. Wow. Funny that you got that card because guess what I got? What did you get? Retreat. Uh huh. And by the looks of this, this is to me that when when someone takes a retreat, whether it's spiritual or religions, religious, that it's a way for them to step back, reanalyze what they're doing, mm -hmm. see where they're going, what way that they can make it work, not just for themselves, but for their loved ones around them to appreciate and accept what it is that they're doing and that they can feel comfortable in moving forward again once they have a plan of action set and ready to go. You can't just go gung-ho and go into the next phase without a plan. You have right. to know who you are, what you want, what works well with you, what resonates with you. 
And that's what she's got to learn again. And she's going to restart again. So this is kind of just backing up what you just said. Um, she needs to step back. And, you know, okay, I want to do this. But first approach didn't work well. How should I take this new approach? And we all make mistakes. We all fall. We all sometimes have to step back and go, you know what? This just doesn't feel right or look right. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do? Who do I need to talk to, get some advice from? What, should, you know, what avenues should I go down? What is it? What is it that I'm trying to do, you know, for myself? What, what's my answer? You know, what, what's my direction? Where do I want to be? And don't look at it five years from now right. or 10 years from now. Where do you want to be in a two months from now? You make small goals. Right. Don't make big goals because you're going to stress yourself out. Right. A lot of people don't seem to realize that. So, yes, that's basically going along with your two of wands. So she needs to just step back. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yep. And replan. Moving on? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so next card which is the following month after this, is the Knight of Wands reversed. And you'll notice a pattern here because you've got a wand. We have the Two of Wands, and now we have the Knight of Wands. So if you remember what I said before, Wands represents action, going towards your ambitions. Um, it's very fast moving. Um, knights are the court cards of the tarot that represent people that are very extreme in their energy, whatever the that energy might be. And because it's a wand energy, that this, this person is going to be very woo kind of energy. Okay, it's very strong, like fire almost. Because uh -huh. wand the element of, of the wands is fire. Right. Um so the so the knight means that this person is like too much fire. Too much going for their ambition. Too gung-ho. Mm. And the reason why I say that is because it's reversed. So, and you'll even look at the picture here. You'll see that the the person on the horse, even though it's reversed, is still going this direction. Yes, it it's is. It's not going the. It's not going towards the two of wands, which is what we just said, where you need to be like, okay, hold it. Mm -hmm. You need to think about this. You need to prepare what you're doing. Instead, this person is just kind of going. You know, I did it for a while, but you know what? I'm just gonna eh, forget about that whole thing, and I'm just gonna. I'm going to be a go-getter and, yeah. just, and just go for it. And this card is saying that that is a bad thing. That um, it's not bad to want to be ambitious and to go, f go for your goals. Right. But this is not the time. No. No. You need to slow your roll. You have to be, you have to be more in the state that we talked about in the right. beginning, which is calm Right. And meditative right. and trying to figure out how to get into a better plane of, in your mind, mentally and spiritually. Right. It's more calm. It's just like one extreme to another extreme. You're, you're, you're going from completely, you know, wanting to be calm and collected and knowledgeable to crazy chaotic energy. Right. Right. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. So this card is the compassion card. Um, she is in a meditative mind, seeing all the colors around her. She's sitting on a lotus. She has a lotus in her hand. Um, and the muldra, the, the hand that she's doing, it, it, this is all to be in peace. It's to have peace on her. However... I feel that the compassion part about it that she needs is that she needs to have more compassion with herself, mm -hmm. that she needs to love herself more, not push herself, not make herself jump through hoops, but she needs to have what the love she gives to other people she needs to give to herself. The compassion that she shares with others, she needs to start sharing it with herself. And we're all guilty of not doing that. And we all know that at times we need to do that. Mm -hmm. And we need to slow down. And we need to realize our worth and our self-value. Because if we don't recognize our worth and our self-value and we go gung-ho, we're going to burn out. 
Mm -hmm. I'm never going to be back here again at this card <clears throat> when we should keep moving forward, but we didn't take the time to visualize and believe enough in ourselves of what we can achieve when we have a good plan in place, mm -hmm. but don't be in a hurry. So just slow down. Don't, don't be, don't be Jen's card. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of, I think it kind of makes sense. I mean, because, you know, knowing a little bit about her personally. Right. Um, for her, I think the, this gung ho extra energy is, mm -hmm. is what you're saying mm -hmm. is, Wanting to put her energy out into the world mm. instead of containing the energy mm. within herself, right? Which is kind of like the high priestess and this, you know, this compassion card, where right. it's like in that meditative, right? Where it's 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 supposed to be contained and controlled Control. within yourself, right? Not out chaotically, just everywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a, a form of humbleness, too. Right. You know, it, when you see the good in yourself and you feel the good in yourself mm -hmm. and you give that good to other people, but you still retain that for yourself and you're not just giving it all away. Right, right. Then you're able to move forward. Right. So, yeah. Okay, so the last card. Yes, ma'am. Mm. So I have the Queen of Cups. Ooh. We have a, a total switch here from where, where we were going. It's pretty, though. It is pretty. Um, so with the Queen of Cups, we have a court card again, and we have a switch in the... We have the last two is wands. Mm -hmm. So we have an energy shift. So this is our third month going right. out. Right. So this kind of gives us an idea of maybe, you know, where she's headed, like, in the distant future, maybe. Right. <clears throat> so this is saying that um, there does seem to be some growth that's happened between these two cards. So something must happen mm -hmm. later on, whether it's her just realizing it or it's coming from um, an external source, you know, a friend, a family member, something like that. Mm -hmm. She's learning that um, basically what we just talked about in this entire reading, where you have to be more calm mm -hmm. um, and also to focus on more of how you feel. Right. Um, because cups is all about your emotions. Right. Um, the queen of cups is somebody who is very mature mm -hmm. in that area. So you could also look at this as her maybe realizing that her real potential is in um, her maturity in her feelings. Meaning that she's a compassionate person. That she's a kind person. That she does help people. Mm -hmm. But because she's mature... That means she also realizes her self-worth at the same time. Right, right. right. Um, so I think it's more of just a, a mindset change um, because it is very drastic. Mm -hmm. Going from, you know, wands energy to just relaxed kind of loving energy. So I think it is a good ending card because it's showing that she is kind of at least on the right track at, towards the end or at least trying to focus her energy mm -hmm. in a different place. Instead of focusing it on the goals or on the external environment, right? All these other people or all these other projects or things going on. Instead of working on all of that, she's, she's bringing it internally and she's focusing on how do I feel in this moment? How do I feel about this? And also recognizing her natural talents and mm -hmm. abilities um, that she already possesses. So that's what I see in that card. That's actually is kind of empowerment. It is very empowering. So that's that that's lovely. <clears throat> I'm kind of confused with my cards. <laughs> what is yours? This one is medicine. But that, I don't know. I think that might go well because it's like healing. Isn't yes, it? it is. Yes, it is. Um, what I see in this with <laughs> Native American indigenous person, beautiful. Uh, the feathers. The dove, and then the swirl of clouds, and I'm not sure if that's, I think that is the moon. This to me is resonating with me that this person is finding peace. Mm -hmm. This person is able to 
relax, breathe. Take they've taken their medicine basically. Right. They've stopped and realized that they are of value. They are of worth. They are an incredible human being, and people that are around them know that. Mm-hmm. And that that's all they've ever wanted for them to see that. And that they're now realizing that themselves. And so they bathe in this, the moon of the, mm-hmm. well, in the light of the moon and the feminine energy that's coming from that, the love, the compassion. And he seems like he is also meditating. His eyes are closed. So like he's he's at peace. He's you know he's just thinking. He's like, and then the bird is just like, okay, I'm just up here, just let me be, you know. Mm-hmm. And then there's a calmness that comes over with this card, mm-hmm. and, and it kind of goes it, with it, what yeah. you, your card is. Is that. <clears throat> I'm I'm a little scared because I I don't know I I'm like wow if they become this calm if they can see just how awesome they already are and that the more they awake the more that they see that they can take their selves they can ascend higher mm-hmm. within themselves and how much more peace that they get, how much more love for themselves that they get, how much more compassion and, and just understanding of who they are Mm -hmm. that they get, Mm -hmm. that they get to see their self in a whole new light. Right. It's powering. It is. Just like that card. And it is kind of, this is a major switch from your cards. This is, coming to know but this is like i now know yeah it's definitely a switch yeah it, it's <laughs> like okay i, I see what i need to work there's on there's definitely something that happens yes yeah, something is like yeah i don't know i don't know I, it, I, it's yeah because we didn't fo- we didn't know now you know going into this that there was going to be something that was going right. to be a catalyst for it. Right. You would have to do another reading. Right. To focus on the catalyst to figure out why, you know, why this person had this, you know, enlightenment. The epiphany. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that it's, I, I, best of luck. That's yeah. all I've got to say. We all, it, we all struggle. Mm-hmm. We all struggle. We all right. have um, those moments where we're like, oh, I'm not good enough at this or why did I mess that up or you know this person just doesn't see what I'm saying uh, and and sometimes there will be people in our lives that just do not get us mm-hmm. and if they're not a part of well I can't even say that because I've cut family out too so I mean if they, if people cannot resonate with you and they are being negative towards you mm-hmm. and they are holding you down and not letting you go forward or not letting you speak, you need to stand up for yourself and you need to take control of what is yours to take control of. You can't control other people. Right. But you can control your own voice. You can say, don't speak to me like that. You can say, I am better than that. Don't treat me that way. Mm-hmm. And you can also say goodbye to those that you don't need in your life. And then sometimes there's this few that you can't say goodbye to. But you can say, you know what? You and I need to have a talk. Mm-hmm. And I need you to listen to me. And I need you to respect what I have to say. And if you can't do that, then we're going to have to keep having a talk when I'm ready to have that talk. Not when you want to have it, but when I'm ready to have it. Because you need to take control of the reins sometimes with certain people in your life. And you need not to let people walk all over you. And right. you, so. But anyway, so that was the reading. I, I think this was pretty good. It was pretty good. But I'm curious to see where your client ends up at in yeah. several months. I hope she keeps you posted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see yeah. how that works out. So, mm, happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for her. I'm like, go ahead. I got, you got <clears throat> this. 
I'm so happy for yeah. you. Yay. And for those of you out there, you know, that are listening or watching us. Right. You know, if this resonates with you, you mm. know, then hopefully you got something out of it. Yeah. You know. Any, anything that resonates with you, you take it and you run with it. What does not reson, resonate with you, you're like, I don't need it. Let it go. Right. So. Well, thank you guys for. Thank you so much. Yeah. So until next time. Wow. I can't believe how short we cut this podcast. <laughs> Normally we go on and on and on. <laughs> but um, thank you for joining us. Um, we hope you continue to join join us every time we do this but until next time please stay safe please stay happy resonate shine bright do all the good stuff that makes your heart sing and i don't know i just wanted you to uh know that we love you and we're here if you need us so always smile stay bright love you bye, bye. blessed be and if you would like to contact us, you may do so at our email, eclecticsoulpodcast at gmail.com. Our Instagram account is Eclectic Soul Podcast. Our Facebook is eclecticsoul.org. Our YouTube is Eclectic Soul. Jen? If you want to reach me, my personal website is Music and Mystery. My SoundCloud is the SoundCloud page, the soundcloud.com slash Jennifer Dash Feltman. My Facebook is at Music and Mystery. And my Instagram is at Music and Mystery. And if you would like to reach me personally, my Facebook is at Just Call Me Jin Jin. My Instagram is at call me Jin Jin or look for goddess. And my Twitter is at Jen Sullivan. Thank you and have a blessed day. Blessed be.